Now, Workers' Party Secretary General Lao Tia Kiang says his party has done its due diligence to screen candidates for the elections. He was responding to calls by the ruling People's Action Party for voters to scrutinize opposition candidates and for them to show their track records. Mr. Lao formally unveiled the party's first batch of candidates today. One familiar face and three new ones were unveiled. The familiar is party treasurer and 55-year-old fund manager Eric Tan, who stood in East Coast GRC at the last election. The rest, 33-year-old senior IT consultant Gerald Giam, 32-year-old trainer Li Li Lian, and 35-year-old family consultant Mohammad Faisal Abdul Manap. Mr. Lau said candidates go through a selection process, which includes interviews with its top leadership, exposure to party activities, feedback from members, and scrutiny into their backgrounds. All in, 23 candidates are expected to be fielded from an original batch of about 50. Our concern is clear. That's important. Because we, we've done our due religion, we make assessment, we make judgment, we keep our conscience clear. We don't feel anyone will come to us. That is important to us. If the Workers' Party makes a wrong judgment, it may not be that bad. But the PAP, if makes a wrong judgment, and you get the wrong person to be Prime Minister, I think we're all in trouble. The PAP had recently questioned the motivations of lawyer Chen Shoumao, who's back in Singapore after being away for about 30 years. It is quite a natural um, I mean, curiosity that people want to know that um, why you suddenly decided to come back. To be honest with you, I also have the same question, right? But I, I mean, I've asked those questions, we have go into the detail and we are satisfied and we decided to bring him as a candidate. Mr. Lau noted the party's candidates come with their own work, grassroots and NGO experiences. I've been doing counseling for the past four years. Okay, I've seen a lot of broken families, uh, a lot of marriages, divorce because of the situation we're living right now. So I want to create an environment which is more pro-family. There's still a group of people, what I call them, the, un uh, the forgotten group of people, like for example the single parents and the stay-at-home parents. By, by standing as a candidate, I hope that, you know, I really want to be able to speak up for these people, okay, so that they are not forgotten. Now the party will not reveal where its candidates are standing. You'll know that on nomination day, but what we do know is that the party will contest four group representation constituencies and four single member constituencies, of which at least two are likely to see multi-cornered fights.